First off, take me back to last Saturday and what was it like at home watching your team qualify for state? Well, the entire week was nuts. Um, obviously being removed from the field house and, and from the uh, coaching staff and the kids and we prepared through Zoom and had staff meetings through Zoom and obviously I didn't get to go to practice. Uh, but the day of the game was excruciating. <laughs> it really was. It was, um, I was at the house by myself, no one around me. Um, it was the uh, most painful four and a half hours. And then toward the tail in the game, it was the greatest, uh, one, you know, greatest point of my career so far. So, so what do you do when, when who do you, there was no one to celebrate I mean, with? I, it, was, it, was, it was so weird because um, right after the game, I FaceTimed um, my AD, you know, Steve Kiesler. And uh, we're going nuts on FaceTime, and I'm running around the house. But the crazy thing about it was I wanted someone to high-five and hug, and there was no one there. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, talk I'm talking to all the coaches on Zoom and the kids on Zoom or on FaceTime, and it was an unbelievable feeling. But the weird part was there was no one at the house. I couldn't hug anybody to celebrate with at the house. And, of course, just an hour or so earlier, your dad had qualified for yep. state. And yep. so here it is. It's the Dodge Bowl. Yeah. What, what has this week been like? You know, right after the football game, obviously super excited about us getting the victory. Um, but, you know, it's, it, it starts to set in that you know, we're going to play for state championship, but we're also going to compete against Austin Westlake and my dad. And uh, just um, crazy, crazy deal. All the stars aligned. And, you know, we're supposed to play the first game of the year this year. And, you know, due to COVID, it got canceled. But, you know, that game was an invitation. And, you know, you know, this this is a lot sweeter because you know both programs have earned their right to be here. How much have you talked with your dad this week? We talked early in the week. Um, obviously, we got to talk about playoff negotiations when it comes to officials. So that was that was interesting. We, me and him, always bounce officiating crews off of each other. You know, week in and week out when we're getting ready for someone else. You know, who do you like? I like this guy. You know, so now I'm going to talk to him about us trying to find a crew. So that was interesting and uh, fun at the same time. But. Uh, we talked a little bit on Sunday, we talked on Monday, and that, and that was about it. He said this is the first time he's ever said I love you to the opposing coach yeah. who hung up the phone. Yeah, same here. Yeah, <laughs> same here. He said I love you. I said I love you, Pops, and let's go compete. All right, how about Mom? She seems like she's doing all right. Well, you know, I think she's uh, a little nervous, obviously, uh, you know, different situation for her than she's ever been and as a, as a coach's wife. And, uh, you know, her, her son and husband are, you know, uh, locking horns, so to say. So. Um, now I think she's she's probably the only person that's in the win-win uh, category. So who should she root for? You know, the, the joke I, I said to her was, you know, I feel like she should be on my side this week just because I'm blood to her and he's not. So I threw that at her. Um, and she kind of laughed. So we'll see. I think she's supposedly she's going to have some Westlake gear on and some Carroll gear on. I think you have leverage too. Yeah, I think I have leverage. I have the grandkids. Exactly. Right. I have three grandkids. So. You know, if she wants to uh, uh, see the grandkids, uh, she better be rooting for her son. And then next week, you know, obviously win or lose, we're, we're going to, uh, we're driving out to Horseshoe Bay for Christmas. So we haven't had a Christmas with them. So win or lose, we're driving out to Horseshoe Bay to have Christmas with my dad and my mom. Can you imagine what it's going to be like for your dad at the end of that game? Win or lose, I mean, the emotions, especially for yeah. my dad. I mean, for you too, yeah, yeah. but for dad, I mean, you want your son mm -hmm. to win the ultimate game, yeah. but, uh, you know, you've got all the, your own, he's got another 70 sons on his Westlake team, too, that have worked so hard for Yeah, him. I think it's a lot easier probably for me and him than most, than, than people than people think. Uh, you know, we want, we obviously, I want what's best for my dad, and he wants what's best for me, but, you know, the situation where we're going to compete against each other, but not just compete, but, you know, two programs going to, you know, for the ultimate prize, and, uh, you know, I want the Carroll Dragons to win, you know, um, and he wants Austin Woods like Chaparral's to win. So, um, you know, I think once everything, the dust settles a little bit after the game, you know, whoever wins or loses, you know, we'll, we'll be there for each other. And the fact that it's Westlake and yeah. you win state in the last game that your dad coached you in high school. Uh, what do you remember from that game? A lot. I mean, you know, a lot of emotions going in this game, but especially that one. My at the time, my grandfather had just retired. He was a longtime athletic director and head football coach, like you know. And uh, so we have, I have a long, long history, our entire family with Austin Westlake, way before my dad became the, became the head coach there. My mom's from there. Uh, like I said, my grandfather was a longtime AD and head football coach. Um, but that football game was uh, very, very special. Um, obviously, winning the football game, but um, there's a, you know, winning state championship with your dad and your, 
and your buddies um, and being the starting quarterback at Carroll and winning it was really special. And then obviously I had a moment on the field, so that, that's one, one of those moments that everybody wants to talk about. <laughs> that's what everyone else remembers. Yeah, that's from what everybody game. remembers from that game. Yep. What happened? I threw up. I threw up on the football field. Um, so, you know, going into that week, I had uh, I had been bit pretty banged up. I got hurt for so Desipermian and sprained my ankle pretty bad and cracked some ribs and got into the state championship game. I was feeling a little healthier and was running around a little dehydrated and threw up and then threw the touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> and you wound up going to the White House after that, didn't you? We well, yeah. I don't know, about a month or so later, we went to the White House, um, really just on a tour, and that's all we thought it was going to be. My dad was actually, we were in Virginia for, he had a clinic he was speaking at, a Nike clinic, and we were in, we did a whole day in D.C., and we got an opportunity to get all dressed up and go on a tour at, at the White House, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, President Bush found out that we were kind of walking around, and him being a big Texas high school football fan, wanted to bring the, our family up to the Oval Office, and that was... Uh, one of the most unbelievable uh, experiences of my life. And I walk in the door, I'm the last one in the door, the president stands at the door, and uh, in his uh, little twang, he said, you must be the one that threw up. <laughs> I said, yes, sir, and just kept walking in the Oval Office. <laughs> so that was pretty cool, and we got to hang out with him uh, for about 45 minutes in there. All right, take me back even further than that, 1996. Yeah. What were you doing at state championship game 1996? Austin Westlake was mm -hmm. in that state championship game, and Drew Brees was the quarterback. Yeah, Austin Westlake versus Abilene Cooper. I was on the sideline, um, dressed out in all red, and Westlake Shepherd, Shepherd gear, and I was the ball boy on the sideline. <laughs> so we, we got a lot, a lot of ties to uh, both programs. What was least likely to happen? Drew Brees, 24 years later, over the age of 40, is uh, quarterbacking in a playoff game? Yeah. or? The ball boy on the sideline is the head coach of the opposing team against Austin Westlake in the state championship game. I don't know, man. What he's doing is pretty unbelievable. But I think uh, what's what's going on this week and then what's going to happen on Saturdays, um, you know, pretty remarkable in itself. And uh, just to to sum it up, as, as far as uh, what are you hoping that comes out of this game outside of Carroll winning the game? What what is, what is it that that you hope is remembered about the Dodge Bowl? You know. Um, a good football game. Uh, two two really good programs. Um, you know, with a lot of history going to uh, going to compete for the ultimate prize. But you know, I want when when people uh, leave the stadium on Saturday, I want them to uh, think very highly of our kids and the way they compete and the way they get after it. And uh, I'm just I'm I'm really excited for the the opportunity our kids have. You know, we have um, we didn't return any starters on defense um, from last year's team, and we have three on offense. So. A group that continues to answer the bell, and I'm excited that they get this opportunity.